if you have used the extract function in Power Query, you might notice that sometimes it behaves a little bit different than you might expect, at least that I might expect. So I'm going to show you uh, when the extract function acts weird and how to get around that limitation. Okay, so let's get started. So I came across the case that you see in front of you. Four columns, two of them had prefixes, different prefixes that I wanted to get rid of, and then the other two didn't have. So you cannot split these because you will get it in the wrong order. You need to extract. But I'm going to show you what happens when you extract this. And I'm going to demote the column first, just so you, we can, I can show you on rows so the code doesn't get too complicated. And then we do it with column headers. Okay. So let me uh, duplicate the column, uh, the table, and then I'm going to demote the headers so we can see how it works. And I'm going to put the columns as rows, transpose. And now here is. We want to get rid of A and B. How do we do it? You cannot split because if you split, you will get A, B, column three, column four. That's not what you want. You want column one, column two, column three, column four. So you need to extract. So if we extract, you do, okay, we want to extract whatever is after the dot. So the text after the linter, a dot. And you see what it does? I, I'm not saying it's wrong. I, see, I would say that it's unexpected. I would expect extract not to do anything if the delimiter is not there, but instead what it does is it removes. It doesn't happen the same with before. I explained that on my Power Query course. By the way, I have updated 2022 for like two months ago and I haven't told you. So it is up to date now, 2022. So how do you actually fix this issue? It's actually not that complicated, but I'm going to show you anyway, so you, you know. And it gets a little bit trickier when you're doing a column header. So this is what we're going to do. Because it's getting rid of my three and four rows, because I don't have a delimiter, what we need to do is add the delimiter. So where I'm going to go is go there, and then you have on format, add prefix, and I'm going to add an additional dot, like there. I would say, ooh, but that's not... And what we're going to do now is we're going to extract. Instead of starting from the right, we're going to start extracting from the left. And that's going to fix our problem. Let me show you. So you go there, extract, text after the limiter, dot, that hasn't changed. But here, we want to start from the end of the input. And don't skip anything. Otherwise, you could say you skip one, then you will start extracting from here. We don't want that. Okay, and we got it. Okay, so now how do we do the same for column headers? It's the same technique, it's just different functions that you need to use. I'm going to show you. Okay, so the first thing that we need to do is to add the dot. And obviously, you cannot use the format function here, but there is a function called table prefix columns that does the exact same thing. So if I do like that, you can have rows. Eh? I don't have any, but you can have any rows that you like. Uh, and that will add the dot to all the columns. And once we have the dot to all the columns, what we need to do is to add the extract after the limiter. Now, I never remember how that works when you are doing it from the start from, from the end. So what I normally do is I created one, like here, and then I copy, but we already have one here, so I don't need to create it anymore. So we're going to need the whole thing, this one. Copy, and then when I'm going here, add a new row, a new step, and then here I'm going to add a table, uh, <laughs> column uh, names, what is it called? Table transform column names. And then we're going to paste the text after the limiter. And once you've done that, voila, we have cleaned our columns properly. It's so weird, isn't it? I wish there was like a tick box where you could say what you wanted to do in case that the limiter is not present, like remove or not remove. <laughs> But it's not there, so you, you need to do a little bit of work around to get it working.
I have other videos on how to do column transformations, a ton actually, but I have one that summarizes some of them, so you can check it out there, and I'll see you again next week. Take care.